I just feel like, ugh, I don't want to be all exposed. Like, this is not cute. <laughs> it's just not cute. I don't know. I feel so silly, you guys. Hey guys, I'm senior style editor Marissa Runyon, and this is Must Have Moment. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about trends because there are always those trends, whether they're brand new or resurrected trends, that just leave us so confused and kind of upset. Like, why is this happening? Is this fashion? Do I need to buy this now? The Kardashians are wearing it. Do I need to own it? So that's what we're gonna talk about. And specifically today, we're gonna to talk about bike shorts. We saw these seasons ago coming down the runways, and a lot of the times designers will show things on the runways that don't really seem like they are conducive to real life. But then we saw them on the Kardashians. Every single Kardashian, over and over and over. Then we started seeing them on It Girls, like Haley Baldwin, Gigi and Bella Hadid, you name it, we kept seeing bike shorts. So how are we supposed to wear bike shorts in real life? We've seen the formal bike short. This is Kim K's specialty. She wears a formal bike short to an event with heels, with a blazer, with no shirt, with a crop top, with all sorts of different things. This is like her going out look from summer 2018. Then there's the more natural organic way to wear bike shorts, which is an athleisure look. So we see them with sneakers, with an oversized sweatshirt. This I'm not mad at. If you're wearing them to run around, you're, it's the shorts version of leggings. I can get behind that. Is it the thing I'm probably gonna gravitate towards? Mm, I don't know yet. But then again, watch, I'm gonna say I don't like bike shorts and then in six months, I'm gonna be wearing bike shorts and everyone's gonna laugh at me, but that's another story for another day. All right, so I pulled some options for you guys. These are by Daniel Patrick. They're $110. This is the athleisure version of a bike short. So these are a really great fabric. I think these would be great paired with an oversized sweatshirt and some sneakers. They kind of look like men's underwear, but this is it, guys. If you really wanna go there, this is a really fun fashion option. A Little bit less, but we got these. So I have a whole bunch in this price range. These are good Americans. Speaking of Kardashians, they actually made their own bike shorts. So these are Chloe's line. These are $65. These actually could double as uh, workout shorts. So they're a really stretchy fabric. They feel like they would breathe really well. So, you know, you could try the trend and if you don't like it for every day, you could still wear them to the gym. So it's not a total loss. But if you wanna try something a little fancier, these are by Corral. If I were to do this trend, I'd probably go with something like this because they feel elevated, they don't feel like athleisure, and they pair better with something like a blazer. 65 bucks. So if you're not gonna spend $65 on this trend, look at all these. These are $28. So this is by a brand called Meshki and they come in all different colors. I'm showing you colors that are not black in case you're sick of seeing black bike shorts. You really can do anything with these. The reason I like these is that they are, they're ribs, they're like a heavier knit. Bike shorts tend to be really unflattering and show literally everything on your body. So you wanna choose a pair that's a little more substantial. You could probably find a pair for $10, but I bet they're gonna be super thin. They could probably be a little sheer, which is a huge no-no. So you wanna make sure that they feel like pants and not like an undergarment. I would pair these with a sweater or a sweatshirt and go a full athleisure with them. This though, let's talk about this for a second. These are straight up flesh colored. I kind of feel like they look like underwear or Spanx or something no bueno. So let me know guys, would you wear these flesh colored ones or would you stick with black or a bold color? Let me know. So the thing that really destroyed my opinion on bike shorts or improved my opinion on bike shorts was in New York, I saw one woman wearing bike shorts and I thought she looks cute and that my head exploded because now, was I liking bike shorts? Was I gonna wear them? So this is why I'm wearing bike shorts right now. I had to give it a test run and I'm giving it a test run in full Kardashian fashion. Although I am wearing a shirt, even though they opt for no top, I'm gonna wear a top. But what do you guys think? Do you like this on them? Do you hate this on them? I need to know, so make sure you tell me. But I'm on the fence still. So I couldn't do a video about bike shorts without wearing bike shorts myself and giving them a fair test run. But I also have to say they're really comfortable. I feel like I could dance or I could do deep knee bends or I could be really active in these. And like normally going out clothes are really uncomfortable. So I'm partially sold on the fact that these are comfy, but I don't know. I might have to give them a test drive and actually go out dancing in them. One huge rule I have about bike shorts if you're going to try this trend, make sure you wear something long that covers your bum because I find them so unflattering when they're exposing everything. 
So if you have a long line blazer, if you're wearing a long shirt, anything that's kind of covering you a little bit more, that's the way to go. Especially in the front too. I just feel like, ugh, I don't wanna be all exposed. Like, this is not cute. <laughs> it's just not cute. I don't know. I feel so silly, you guys. It, it's really, to me, only doable like this. Long blazer, cover it up, bike shorts peek out. That's it, that's as far as I'm going. Now it's time to give this trend a rating on the must-have meter. This trend, bike shorts, is getting a two. It's getting a two because it is comfortable and it can be inexpensive. If it were expensive or uncomfortable, we'd get a flat out one, but because of those two things, giving it a two. So let me know if you guys are trying this trend. I think I'm gonna take it for a test run or a test bike ride. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Don't forget to subscribe to ET Style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.